what went wrong when a five-year-old with autism drowned over the weekend. This happened to another child diagnosed with autism just several weeks ago. My son Davey was diagnosed with autism at 20 months. He was nonverbal at the time and very affected. Davey's determination was nothing like I've ever seen. He couldn't be left alone for 30 seconds. He loved running and he loved the water. In September 2002, my husband, Davey, and my older son all went to the family wake house. That was Davey's favorite place to swim and play in the water during the summer. And they gave me a break in New Jersey for the night to sleep in. The next morning, I got a call from my sister Connie who lived a couple doors down at the lake house. All she said is, you need to get here. I looked up at the nurse. She said, he is gone. He had drowned in the lake. We have continued to educate parents and other professionals on the importance of addressing safety concerns, such as developing a safety plan for the home, evaluating the dangers in surrounding properties, not just your own, and the importance of starting swimming lessons at a very young age. I encourage families, first and foremost, to make swim lessons a priority. Also, talk to your neighbors. Show them a picture of your child. Tell them he or she has autism and should never be outside unattended. If they have a pool, is a combination locked? Be sure landscapers or other service people are always locking that pool gate when they leave. Any body of water is a danger. If a child is missing, always, always check the water first. It's scary. And it's just like, but to me, honestly, it's just like, that's my whole life. It's like triaging crises. You are one of the first parents in the state of California and frankly, across the United States to take your battle straight to the health plans and you won. A tragic end to the life of a Fremont activist who became a champion for the families of autistic children. She died trying to save her autistic son's life. Firefighters found them upstairs. Feta had her arms wrapped around her son one last time. That's really terrifying. But this autism is can be devastating to families. Michael was four years old and he was always the brightest light in the room and he was my snuggle bug. Michael and his father perished in a house fire on January 26, 2018. A laptop that was charging on the floor near a couch caught fire and the couch went up so fast there was no way to escape the living room always charge electronics on a hard surface. I learned in school to exit quickly once you see fire. I was not going to walk into the fire when all I could see was Penny. I suddenly knew that I was the one that had to move into action. And we needed to donate his brain to autism research. As a way to deal with my grief, I created the Michael Lorenzen Foundation. We provide scholarships to students with autism. The community can support families by educating themselves about autism and understanding that every person with autism is different. So it is important to get to know those with autism. Our families continued to fundraise, participate in research and advocate for other children with autism. And most importantly, help families with anything they needed for safety so no other parent or sibling will ever have to go through a loss like I had. 10 minutes. 10 minutes every 365 days can save lives, can save lives. I do not want this pain for you.